Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to the Speed Shop. So, unfortunately, I got another problem with the truck and it's nothing mechanical yet, but I went to town yesterday, I went to town, went to the store, um, my local little area here, and I smelled death. Something died somewhere. And I thought it was on the road somewhere because, you know, animals die around here all the time out here in the country. And with the wind blowing, who knows how far away it could have been. But then, you know, I came back, parked the truck in the shop, opened up this morning, and about got knocked out by the smell. So it's something on the truck. And it seems to be coming from this general area in this area, and around here, which is like where the vents are for the heater and everything. And I pulled the heater motor out right there. And I looked up inside there, and I don't know if you can see or not, but the screen is completely torn up and this explains how they've been getting in and leaving nuts and everything in here and i don't know if that even showed up but um i'll try to get a video of that later but uh i noticed up on the screen is a bunch of uh more mice feces and whatnot so we're gonna pull this fender off this inner fender and see what we find so let's get into it so one thing's for sure i'm getting good at taking these wheels off and putting them back on I've had them off, off and on so many times and here comes the supervisor coming to bite my ankles and my hands and not let me work properly. But yeah, we're gonna get up in here and see what we find underneath these uh, covers. Some other evidence I've seen of rodents is, see that insulation back there? It was chewed up a little bit, up all the way up into there. And some more right there. And yeah, that smell is just, horrible right around this area so i gotta find what this thing is and where it's at so let's get this wheel well off of here and see if we can get to the vent so on a positive note I'm trying to hit the damn legs of the camera stand here i do get to use my specialized tools here for pulling these little plugs and get these all off and we gonna find anything ew there's something there. Keep going. I'm gonna be back when I get this off. Why well, is this stuff gonna happen the week before I'm leaving for San Diego? And found some more wire loom that's completely shot. Luckily I have some. So I gotta repair that and there's a wire right there that needs to be fixed. And I don't know, two sensor maybe? I'm not sure what that even goes to. But I'll fix that before I go. Found this little pile of stuff. I don't know what the heck that is, but packing it in there. So now I'm worried about, can I get up inside that fender? Nope, not without removing the fender. So maybe I'll be removing the fender on this thing too at some point today. I don't know. This is a pain in the butt. But man, it just stinks right here. It looks like it might have an, either an oil leak, valve cover leak maybe up there. This thing's uh, definitely due for some serious maintenance when I get back from San Diego. But I gotta find this stink smell before anything else, cause it's bad. All right, so I didn't find anything under the wheel well over there. There's some. Uh, some mud and seeds and stuff in that area right there. But I just saw some of that material down inside this cow opening, which is down inside there. So I'm gonna pull that cowl off, so i do that next. Pull the windshield wipers and get that piece off. I got off. the wiper off, and man, did that smell get worse over here. Holy cow. I got a feeling I'm going to find this nest. I'm actually wondering about taking this damn hood off. Do you show you have a maintenance mode? You can push this thing up further by disconnecting the spring. Kind of looks like it. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I may have found where this thing's coming from. Just had a big fly fly out from underneath there too. Oh, I see a, I see a carcass right there. All right, I got the cow completely off. And as you can see, there's a nasty ass nest in there. And I already removed what was really stinking. 
And I'll show you real quick here. Well, this is what came out of there. Pretty gross. I don't know how you got up in there. An idea. I wear a size 12. So yeah, that was the nastiness we found in there. There's a lot that we got to clean up. So, but I'm going to drop it down first. So that means I'm going to put the put the wheel cover back on over here since I already cleaned up the mess that was here. God, it still stinks. I hope that's the only thing that I find. I'm still seeing flies flying around, so that's weird. But I'm going to get the wheel well back on because there was nothing underneath that, at least. So get that back on, get it dropped down so it's easier to work on because it's a little tall even for me at six foot five. I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, whole wiper assembly. It looks like there's only three bolts, one there, one there, and I already took this one out. There's a bracket, a brace that goes right here covering everything. And it's somewhere around here. I don't know where I put it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's around here someplace. Probably, oh, it's right there. So this came off originally with those bolts. But anyways, we're going to get motor out of there. So that's out of the way. So it makes it easier to clean. All right, I got the wiper assembly out of there, the motor and everything. Now we can really see down inside there. And you can see the stain where he's been peeing and whatnot. This is pretty gross. And apparently this come in right over here. If you see, you can see the light. There's a big gap and a hole right there. So plenty of room for him to crawl in there. So figure out some way of blocking that off. would be good. But that's where we're at right now. Just got to clean now. I got to get it down so I can actually work on this. All right. So I got that all vacuumed out. But man, it still reeks. I don't know where that smell is coming from now. But you can see the whole cow area is completely clean. I'm going to spray it down with some soap. And I also have some stuff called Fresh Blast. And this is actually for eliminate smoke smell. I used this on a... Uh, on the seats of my car when I caught them on fire from grinding. <laughs> and it wasn't actually in my car at the time, it was a customer's car, but the seats ended up being mine, so it was all good in the end. But I'm uh, gonna spray this stuff in there too to try to take care of the odor, because it's bad. So this stuff works really good and it took care of the odor for as long as still, I can still smell this stuff over the burn smell from the seats, so. This is what we're using, and I'll spray some soap in there too to try to get rid of that smell. I'm gonna use some of the CLR Brilliant Bath and put that on there first and wipe it down and then go from there. It's not the best thing, but I don't have any simple green or anything like that here. But right now, I don't feel like going to town, so that's gonna have to All do right. it. So I cleaned with the CLR, put this odor neutralizer stuff in it. Next thing I'm gonna do is this uh, Lysol Brand New Day Mango and Hibiscus scent. I know my wife had it, so that's what I'm gonna try out. Just spray that in there and that'll be it. Put everything back together and hopefully that'll take care of the smell. Okay, we got all the good stuff, smell, uh, good smelling stuff, the spray and my wife's uh, Lysol stuff back there and some of that odor neutralizer stuff on there. I don't smell the dead mouse or dead rat anymore, which is good. So at least it's working somewhat. Before I just could not get that smell out of my nose and luckily now I got something better in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together, get the motors in there. Get the cow piece back on there and then uh, get this thing finished up and done. I also took the intake cover off just to make sure there wasn't anything else underneath there because the smell just wouldn't go away. But it's gone now, thank God. And I'll probably spray some more areas just to be sure. But, uh, yep, that's where we're at. All right, got the window washer, window wiper motor back in. And I just got to put the cow piece on it. Something still stinks. So I gotta find that smell. I'm trying to find more than any smell in there and I can't. I think it's just because it's stuck on me. So I'm not too worried about that now. Uh, so I'm just gonna get the uh, cow piece, that thing put back on, get the wipers back on and call it a day. And uh, I gotta put the blower motor back on too. But other than that, you know, it's as good as it can get for now. At least it, I can run the AC and it won't smell like a dead animal anymore. So uh, when I get everything put back together, I'll come back and Show you the progress, or show you the uh, I got the results. engine cover covered nice and cleaned up. I'm just finding more and more of the uh, wire loom that's just brittle. I mean, 20 years will do it to it, I guess. So I think when I get back from San Diego, I'm just going to buy a bunch of the plastic stuff and just redo it all to make it look better and keep the wires protected. See, this one's just sticking. It just popped off and just sitting there, so I don't know. But, but that's something for later. I'm going to put the cover on and hide that, so we won't see it. All right, now that looks like a... Freshly rebuilt engine. All right. <laughs> now I just got to do all the rest of the stuff, but not today. So I'm putting this cow cover back on there. Got these two little screws on the end there, Tor 15, T15 Torx bits. 
but you see how the end is broken off of it so it won't be held in by the screw anymore so what i do is i take a washer this is just a 1032 like fender washer stick it over top of it and use that to hold it down just screw it in with the t15 and That way it won't pop up on you. So let's give you the other end, the other side now. All right, so everything's back together now. And hopefully the smell's gone up. I forgot, I did forget something. Oh, I took the rubber off. God, I'm not putting that back on. I don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, that piece too needs to go back on. There's these little clips that actually hold this cow piece together right here. There. Here and one over there that's I'm gonna put right in the middle to where it's hard to reach. Luckily, I'm tall enough. So there, and then this one goes right there in the middle, right there. All right, so I may go back and take this. Take that back off because I forgot this little rubber boot, but just gonna put it in the truck for now. My uh, little parts catcher. All right, so now we're done. Got everything on there. And the only thing I got left to do is put the blower motor back up in there. It's just a, uh, you know, insert and twist. So now that's about it. a video on uh, hopefully cleaning up the dead rat smell in the truck. Um, if you like this video, give it a little like down there, leave me a comment, let me know what I can do, what I can do better, and subscribe while you're at it. Again, you made it this far and you, you've been watching me for a long time, I really appreciate it. You know, it's, you, you all are the ones that, you know, keep, keep me motivated to make videos. So I really appreciate you watching and spending time with me here. So until next time, I will see y'all later.